Dinner Conversations is brought to you by Child Fund, a community development organization that has been envisioning a world where every child is free to live at their fullest potential, no matter where they're from or what challenges they face since 1938. Partner with us and our good friends at Child Fund to change the world and the life of a child by considering sponsoring a child today. It really does take so little to make a difference. Visit childfund.org forward slash dinner conversations. A child is waiting. Two, a three, a five. Jingle bells, a jingle bells, a jingle all the way. open sleigh hey a jingle bells a jingle bells a jingle all the way oh what fun it is to ride in a one on horse open sleigh hey everybody welcome to another dinner conversation yes. christmas special another number four. Oh my gosh you this love christmas this is the christmas. fourth one you how many times it. can you, you do a have christmas made special your entire Don't living talk off while a i'm interrupting it's christmas special think about it without christmas you would not have this home hi <laughs> welcome to another dinner conversations christmas this one is a special one, isn't it? Because where are we? We're at my house. We are celebrating in two different places for this Dinner Conversations Christmas special. <laughs> the fact is our budgets are getting big. We are? No. No? So you can buy our new Christmas mugs to help yeah. them get even bigger. But we are in Texas at... My house. At your house. You know, it's that wreath behind you. Have you ever even seen that wreath before? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Every Christmas, I just get, I just do, you know, blow off the dust and hang it back on the front door. It's nice, it's nice. And then we'll also be in Nashville with the Point of Grace girls oh, who are our very special our guests. Very, now that'll make it worth doing another Christmas Will special. It? Yes. Those three sweet girls that I have known actually. Yeah, tell me. Longer than you. Oh, probably before I was alive. Probably. No. Back in the 80s, maybe, or even, yeah. Late, late 80s, early 80s. 80s. Okay. Late 80s, mm -hmm. early 90s, when they used to be called Say So. Did you know S this? Say again. They were in Dallas, Texas, and they were a group. I believe it was First Baptist Dallas. I'm not sure. Okay. But the name of the group, they called themselves Say So. Huh. And then um, the guy at Word... John Mays. John Mays, yep. that's right. We love John. Changed it to Point of Grace, and the rest is history. See? I know and now, 25 years in I their career. I hope that's true. Check 20, all that out. 25 years in their career, we're going to help them make history again right here on the Dinner Conversations Christmas special. Yeah. Welcome our friends, Lee, Denise, Shelley. Point, Point of Grace. Grace. A hint of peppermint and every single thing begins to feel like Christmas And just like the snowflakes, no two are ever the same Red and white and candy striped in every shape and size Oh, what a sweet treat this is So hop on the choo-choo and woo-woo the candy cane lane You'll be all aglow
cinnamon and suddenly the world begins to taste like sugar stick and everything turns winter green on candy cane lane one block from gumdrop street One of my very favorite Christmas memories was when I was growing up, and I remember that the thing I wanted most this year, I think I was about eight years old, was a little kitchen set. Like, you know, like a little sink and a stove that all the little girls used to have. And I was so excited for Santa to bring me that. And I remember distinctly going to the living room and giving it a really fast scope right when I got up that morning and I didn't see it anywhere. And my heart was broken and I thought that Santa had betrayed me. <laughs> And then I remember after opening all of my presents, I still hadn't forgotten that I didn't get my little play kitchen. And so my dad said, hey, Shelly, why don't you go into the other room and grab my hat off the table? And it's like it happened yesterday. And I walked in there and he was sending me in there on a mission because he knew that right by the table where I was grabbing his hat underneath our little bar area was my brand new Christmas set, avocado green kitchen set from Santa Claus. And I was so happy. All of my little girl foodie dreams came true that morning, and I got what I wanted. Okay, so it's time for our annual Christmas game. This is absolutely my favorite part of this. Um, I would say all year long, what do you look forward to? But what I we gotta do? I forget that you do this. I know, I know, because I'm the director. It, you know, I was having such a good time up till now. <laughs> the girls were singing so pretty. They were, but you know what they were singing about? Not now. Candy and treats, and boy, do I have a treat for you in this game, okay? okay. So you just stay right Wait, there. Wait, I gotta take my glasses off. Take those glasses off. off. We're gonna blindfold the man. Oh, All okay. right, look, okay. right there, just Can real... you get that around my head? Actually, no, I no. can't. Golly. Golly. Just be it's kind. Like a, be kind. Like a dinosaur. Be kind. Um, you know? All right. So what you're gonna do is oh. I'm going to get out some favorite Christmas treats. Okay. And you're gonna guess what you're tasting, big boy. Uh -uh. That's right. Okay. So. All right. Can you actually see? No, I cannot. Chris, what do you think? I feel like my head's in a vice. All right, so here we go. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do oh is I'm going to let you taste. As first, much can as you I want ask any treat. questions up front? Sure. Like, are these food products I'm tasting? Correct. Yeah, there's, there's no trick to this. Human grade? Well, the human grade, what does that even that mean? That means made for humans and not Yes, animals. made for humans to ingest. This isn't poison. Okay. This isn't your last Christmas. All right. Okay, so here's the first one, all right? And you can fill it all you want. I can't. Okay, so I'm gonna put That's this in any, your hand. All right. There it is. Oh, this? Uh-huh, and that? then you have to tell me what it, you can eat, you're it supposed to like eat a big it. old cookie. Taste it, well, maybe it is. Mmm, just savor that, what is it? Kind of dry. <laughs> I don't know that I like it. <laughs> no, it's very dry. Yeah, well, what this is, is it? This is some kind of Mexican cookie. So That's one coffee? point that you're out. There's your coffee. Right here. Yeah. Do we give him that point? Hmm. I feel like Gordon Moe. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Number two. Here we go. You got one point. Ding. Okay. All right. Oh, edit this that. one. That now, this one you need to fully oh, Lord. Is it um, explore. So... It's gonna take two hands. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I know what this is. We'll eat it first. A churro. Here's the last one. This is my favorite, I think. Uh oh. You're gonna have to take a big bite. Okay. Okay, here we go. You're gonna take a big old bite. Oh, is it gonna go everywhere? No, not at all. Not on that Just coat. On that stuff. pretty coat that's part of gospel music history. Mm hmm. It's another sweet of some sort. Yeah, but you gotta get into it. Oh, you no. You gotta get into it. There's something in it. Mm. It's so dry, I can't quite Well, get... put your teeth chompers into the whole thing. <laughs> it is still dry as a bum. It's in it. What uh -uh. is in it? What? No, eat the eat this part. This is the no, part I'm that's the in it. What is it? A jelly of some sort? No. <laughs> that's a cheese empanada. So. Oh, that's not bad. Mm, now that you say that, it tastes pretty good. Okay, so 
I just wanted you to... Well, that was sure a flop of a segment. <laughs> it was, wasn't it? <laughs> you can help change the life of a child today by partnering with Andrew and me and supporting a boy or girl in Guatemala through Child Fund today. Your sponsorship will not only improve the future of one child's life, your child's sponsorship will promote communities in Guatemala, the communities that Mark and I just visited, where we saw parents who are learning to value and to protect and to advance the worth and rights of their teens and children, who through your child sponsorship are literally changing the culture of each child's community from the inside out. Perhaps you already sponsor a child would you consider sponsoring another child in Guatemala? Maybe in honor of one of your children, a new grandchild, a special niece or nephew. It takes so little to make such a profound difference in the life of a child. Your sponsored child is a real kid with real dreams, just like the dreams of your children and grandchildren. We know because we met them, kids that want to be doctors and lawyers and teachers, even musicians kind of like us. Your sponsorship gives these children their chance to achieve their very unique dreams. You may not be able to change the whole world, but you can change the world for one child. Visit childfund.org forward slash dinner conversations to sponsor a child in Guatemala today. As a small way to say thanks for your child's sponsorship, we will send you an autographed season two DVD and songs from the set CD. Yes, plus a special item made just for you by the communities in Guatemala. And every sponsor and a guest is invited to a Dinner Conversations Friends and Family Weekend in Nashville. Hey now, which includes meal times with Mark and me, private little concerts and chit chats with our friends and a special Sunday morning service that will happen right before you head out of town. And if you sponsor more than one child, you will have the opportunity to be a guest on an actual episode of Dinner Conversations during the Friends and Family Weekend in Nashville. Does it get better than that? No. Does it, Mark? Does it? Stay tuned for exact details. And don't forget to visit childfund.org forward slash dinner conversations to sponsor your child today. You know, Christmas has always been a sweet time for me. Um, growing up, I grew up next to my grandparents. They lived in the same town, and so we would have Christmas, and then we'd be over at our grandparents to have Christmas, and we all went to church together. And so Christmas for me has always been family, and I can remember as a mom, um, you know, those times when they were little, my boys were little, and they would always want to sleep in the same bunks together, and they still kind of want to do that just for the nostalgia of it. Um, but just those Christmas mornings where we had been up all night, literally, um, you know, helping get gifts under the tree, um, if you know what I mean. But um, I just remember, I can vividly see those little boys, you know, in their little pajamas coming up, this, coming over this little staircase and heading down um, Christmas morning. And so sweet. And, you know, it just goes by so fast. Um, my husband and I are empty nesters this year. And both boys are off at college, and, um, you know, Christmas is different. It's just different. They come home, and they want to see their friends, not me. No, um, but it's, it is, I think we cherish it even more in some ways of just, you know, they're older. They don't need a bunch of stuff, and it's just, you know, we just want to cram every moment with them, I think. I don't know what it'll look like this year exactly, but... I know that I will appreciate just sitting down to dinner with them and fixing all their favorite foods that they're excited to eat because they don't get to eat it at college. And um, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Oh, you know I want to go, want to go, want to go. Come on, weatherman, give us. Of every childlike heart tonight Rockies are calling 
Denver snow falling Somebody said it's four feet deep But it doesn't matter Give me the laughter I'm gonna choose to keep Another tender Tennessee Christmas The only Christmas for me Where the love circles around us Like the gifts around our tree Well, I know there's more snow up in Colorado Than my roof will ever see But a tender Tennessee Christmas Is the only Christmas for me I get a wandering urge to see Maybe California Maybe Tinsel Towns for me There's a parade there We'd have it made there Bring home a tan for New Year's Eve It sure sounds exciting Awfully inviting Still, I think I'm gonna keep Another tender Tennessee Christmas The only Christmas for me Where the love circles around us Like the gifts around our tree Well, they say in L.A. it's a warm holiday It's the only place to be But a tender Tennessee Christmas Is the only Christmas for me So, Mark, those Point of Grace girls know how to sing a Christmas tune. Well, yeah. Don't they? Yeah, they do. But you also know how to sing a Christmas tune. What's one of your favorite Christmas songs? You know, when I was a kid, actually, in college, mm -hmm. there was a little blonde Norwegian girl named Evie Tornquist. Mm -hmm. And she had a Christmas album, and she had a song on there called Come On, Ring Those Bells. You remember that I've one? heard it before. Key of D, All please. All right, okay. <laughs> Come on, ring those bells. Light the Christmas tree. Jesus is the King. He was born for you and me. Come on, ring those bells. Everybody say, Jesus, we remember this your birthday. All right. Everybody loves to take a holiday. I didn't know it had a verse. Everybody likes to take a rest. Oh yeah, from their co-host. Spending time together with the family Sharing lots of love and happiness Come on, ring them Come on, ring those bells Light the Christmas tree Jesus is the King Born for you and me Come on, ring those bells Everybody say Jesus, we remember this your birthday one more time Jesus we remember this your birth one more time 
Jesus, we remember this your birthday. Yeah, that was one of my favorites. Yeah, I like What's that one. What's one of yours? Oh, I like the old carols. Um, I think. This, the words to this one are my favorite. The first Noel, the angels did say, was to certain poor shepherds in fields as they lay, in fields where they lay keeping their sheep on a cold winter's night that was so deep singing nowhere nowhere no Is a beautiful song. You know that one, the one verse that I love. It says, "And then let us all in one accord sing praises to our heavenly Lord, who hath made heaven and earth of naught, and with His blood has mankind bought." Ooh, isn't that gorgeous? I love that. Yeah, it's a beautiful poetry. You, uh, you got one more? You know, another one I love is. Mary, did you know that your baby... But, but you know what? There's a word for that. It's called incorrigible. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have Point of Grace sing it. Let's do. Will you welcome back our friends, Lee Denise Shelley, Point of Grace.
is Lord of all creation. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would one day rule the nations? Did you know that your baby boy was heaven's perfect plan? And the sleeping child you're holding is the great I am. What child? Hi, I'm Mark Lowry. And I'm Andrew Greer. This is Dinner Conversations. Turning the light on one question at a time. <laughs> oh, Father in Heaven. <laughs> Are we ready? I think so. Our season two guests include singer-songwriter Amy Grant, Grammy winner Michael W. Smith with Jenny Owens, and today's show host Kathy Lee Gifford, American Idol Danny Goki and Dr. Caroline Leaf, Olympic gold medalist Scott Hamilton, Thistle Farms founder and pastor Becca Stevens, preacher Will Graham with Billy Graham's daughter Gigi Graham, singing duo Seth and Nerva with Montel Jordan, and multi-award winning female vocalist Crystal Lewis. What, now why is he here? Uh, we didn't have alcohol <laughs> tested. I mean, this just like, got really weird. This, this goes straight. <laughs> To nowhere. <laughs> ho, 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 everybody. Merry Christmas. It's time for the pre-release of season two, Dinner Conversations. That's right. You can pre-order the three-disc DVD set now featuring all of the table talk and the guests from our season two, plus... Plus the CD of all the music. One song after another, no talking, just the CD. That's right, and there's tons of these special Christmas mugs and Christmas ornaments. We'd love for you to go check it out at dinner-conversations.com. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! They did good. They did. It is a, you know, I will, I will say this. It is a gorgeous song. It really is. Thank you. Yeah, you and Buddy, Buddy Green. Uh, made a beautiful marriage to that, and... The lyric of it still, I mean, that's people just keep coming back to the mystery of that lyric and imagining them in the position of a mother or a father or whoever with a child and thinking that this is the son of God. Wrapped in swaddling clothes, an eight pound bundle was the fullness of the Godhead. Think about that. Compressed and compacted into eight pounds <laughs> was the fullness of the God, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, all wrapped up in that little baby, the Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what Christmas is. At least it is to me. Yeah, it's beautiful. It it's, was the beginning of everything. It's the beginning of love. Yeah. It's truly the beginning of love, and uh, I can't think of a more beautiful way to express it than through music. My favorite Christmas song that Point of Grace recorded, we recorded it on our second Christmas record. Uh, wonderful writer Tony Wood wrote it. And it's it's actually entitled Emmanuel. And I think for me it, it hit home because uh, a few years ago my grandfather passed away on Christmas Day. And it was the first time that I remember in my adult life recognizing that people around me may not celebrate Christmas like some of us do as children, you know, it's just the best time of the year. But for some people, it's not necessarily the best time of the year. It's a time to um, just remember those that may not be with us anymore. And I think it's because I hope that it just ministers to the heart of the people that um, are having a difficult time at Christmas, um, but yet gives them a hope that He is with them.
this year at home the rooms are silent no carols play it's the first time that she is all alone but what a wonder she says there's comfort in my A three, a four. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Everybody, go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Dinner Conversations is brought to you by Child Fund, a community development organization that has been envisioning a world where every child is free to live at their fullest potential, no matter where they're from or what challenges they face since 1938. Partner with us and our good friends at Child Fund to change the world and the life of a child by considering sponsoring a child today. It really does take so little to make a difference. Visit childfund.org forward slash dinner conversations. A child is waiting. Thanks for watching our show on YouTube. Have you subscribed yet? Be sure and press that subscribe button and ring that bell to get notifications. And be sure and like us and comment. 
all good ratings. Oh, of course. Go to dinner-conversations.com to get show updates and find limited edition merchandise. Thank you for watching Dinner Conversations with Mark Lowry and Andrew Greer. Turning the light on. One question at a time.